My name is Hugo Montgomery Swan. I'm editor of Rib Magazine, and I've been associated with this form of boating for 25 years. I'm here today in association with Towgate Insurance, here aboard this ribeye six meter, talking to you about how to choose the best boat for your needs, the sort of equipment that you should be thinking of carrying, and also the matter of training, gaining the valuable experience that you need. Not only that, of course, we're going to be talking about insurance. Ribs were first developed about 40 years ago, in actual fact, by the Atlantic College, which was working at the time in association with the RNLI to develop fast rescue craft. So they be began life as workboats. But over that period of time, in fact about uh, 25 years ago, they began to be used by a small number of, of uh, leisure enthusiasts as offshore exploration craft. And so began the, uh, the leisure rib market as we know it today. They become uh, widely recognized as the 4x4 four four of the sea and that's a good way to describe them because they are the ultimate versatile craft. Uh, bearing in mind that they were first developed to cope with rough seas and offshore conditions, the traditional rib features a deep V hull, much in the way that you see uh, many good um, uh, hard boats or sports boats uh, uh, designed. Um, but of course the all-important uh, factor about a rib is this, this tube here. And this is a special bit because combined with this um, GRP or fiberglass hull, this sponson or, or, or tube acts as a, a great stabiliser, a shock absorber. And it's the interaction of the two, the hull and these sponsons, that make the rib so very, very special. So this is a, a really good example of a, of a mid-range, uh, very capable, six meter craft which is able to take uh, uh, something in the region of seven or eight people. Uh, you could, you could uh, with sufficient planning, cross the channel in this boat or you could uh, use it just as a, a, a fun boat to go down the coast to your local beach and enjoy the, uh, uh, the, 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 the surroundings there. Um, it's the sort of boat that's really going to look after you and uh, not only be a great sports boat but get you home safely too if it's used correctly. Now as editor of Rib Magazine I get calls every week from readers asking my advice on which boat to choose. Well since uh, the early 90s uh, there's been a proliferation of different types of rib, different brands of rib, different makes of rib, some like this um, which is um, a true production boat with everything on it that you're going to need down to a very customized custom built uh, type craft. So really in order to, to um, arrive at the right boat you've got to determine what you're going to be using the boat for. That's the number one question to answer. So do you just want a boat that's going to um, be a ship to shore type craft or something that's going to get you only to your, your, your favorite local beach or do you want something that's going to be uh, uh, able to, to go further afield and if so, then really you should be thinking in terms of, a, of more of a traditional type rib design which features this combination of deep V hull coupled to um, tubes which are reasonably uh, set just above the waterline but not too radical in terms of its design. This would be an example of a good multi-application craft, this ribeye six meters, which will fulfill a whole number of different uh, roles very, very ably. So, do you want to go for um, a Mediterranean shallow V, medium V type craft, which is very popular on the continent down in the Med, um, or do you want to go for something that's a little bit more suited to our home waters? If so, think in terms of choosing the right hull first, and then working your way up from that point. Typically, these 4x4s of the sea range from about 4 metres in length right through to eight and a half meters. That's the, that's the, the typical size bracket that you'll see uh, most ribs falling into, particularly in the leisure sector. Even a small rib can be very, very capable. I took a four meter right round uh, uh, Britain and uh, that was a very, very capable craft. This is a six meter craft and yet it can take four, five, six, seven people very comfortably. But as I said, an eight and a half meter boat, well, 
a good 12 uh, people could be carried aboard that. Prices can range from anything from 12, 15,000 for a, for a four meter, right up to 50,000 for a seven and a half meter and on above. So a lot of work goes into producing these, these boats because the majority of them are handcrafted and built to order. But uh, don't let that frighten you off because a company like uh, Ribeye have um, refined the building process uh, greatly and this is a boat that uh, comes complete with everything that you can imagine. And there are a number of boat builders that actually do that now. So now we come on to the matter of the engine, which is of course a very important component when we're talking ribs. This particular marine engine, like uh, many on the market, is everything that you would really associate with a car engine in terms of reliability, performance, ease of use, etc., even servicing. For this size of craft, 100 horsepower is absolutely ideal. You don't really want to have a, a boat that's overpowered, overhorsed. But I think it's true to say that in most instances, when you go to a, a dealer or a manufacturer who's going to supply the boat, they will advise you as to what engine is going to suit that boat best. And so talk to the dealer, talk to the, uh, uh, the seller of the craft about what you're going to be using the boat for and what type of engine that they, they would really recommend in terms of not only uh, brand but also horsepower. Most, most ribs are outboard powered but there are some that are diesel powered and they tend to be from about seven, seven and a half meter upwards but uh, uh, tend to be used for serious offshore application, commercial work applications really. So finally, how do you actually get your boat? Well, the process really must involve really good research. There's some wonderful tools, of course, notably the, the, the internet, which is a fantastic way of uh, doing research. Not only that, but you can buy specialist publications such as Rib Magazine, which lists all the, the, um, the key brands and makes, as well as a good selection of used boats as well, if that's a, a, um, uh, a course that you're considering to take. What's going to be very, very important is before you buy, actually go out and sea trial the craft. Get on it, get the feel of it, and talk to the people concerned who make it to try to determine whether they're going to give you the, the, the type of after sales support that you really want as well. Taking care of the engine, um, dealing with issues with regard to the boat, any snagging issues, repairs, anything of that kind. Good old fashioned um, uh, after sales service cannot be overlooked. Thank you.